Hey everyone, this is Veronica, your favorite culinary dietitian. Thank you for coming back and watching another episode of my cooking show. Today we're going to be making, of course, always healthy, nutritious, and delicious meal that features salmon. So I'm going to make a dressing and a sauce for our salmon, and then we're going to go from there. What I have in front of me is to about two tablespoons of finely chopped red onion. If you have shallots, you can do shallots instead. I just didn't have shallots, so that's why I did the red, red onion. Here I have about a quarter cup of fresh, fresh mint leaves that I'm going to finely, finely uh, mix. I really, I want a really fine mince on this just to release the flavor but also I don't want people having big chunks of leaves in their mouth at a time when, you, when you're eating the salmon. I love the floral scent and you know the floral smell. If you're making one of those flavored waters with your mint and strawberries or watermelon and citrus it's good if you have any left over you can also use it in savory preparations. So I'm going to add it to this little bowl with our onion. Okay. Next I have a little nub, a little piece of ginger. I just took off the, the skin and I'm going to finely mince it over the bowl with our other ingredients with a microplane. You can do this with your knife, but it's a little bit easier and faster. If you ever have any upset stomach issues, I always recommend instead of having ginger ale, if you look at most ginger ales, they don't actually have real ginger in them. The ginger might have natural ginger flavor, um, but not actual ginger. So I always recommend getting a fresh ginger root, or if you can't get the ginger root, which I'm sure it's probably difficult because ginger is in every grocery store pretty much, but you could do the ginger tea bags. But I would just boil this, this little piece of ginger and some water and drink it down. It also has anti-inflammatory properties and it has you know, such a unique taste. And lemon is just a perfect combination. So I'm going to zest. The zest is where you get a lot of flavor, the essence of the lemon. So if you can, whenever you're cooking with the juice of a fresh lemon, also zest it. You can cut it into you know, thin strips if you have your paring knife and you can candy it. I'm gonna just squeeze the lemon through my finger so I don't get any seeds. Hmm. And while I'm back here, I'll go ahead and get the, the salmon. So I'm just gonna mix all this up. And then we're gonna add, gonna add a little, actually I don't need to add any olive oil to this. I'll put it directly onto the fish. So what I have here are these are five fillets of salmon. It's wild caught Alaskan salmon, which if you can get it is a better, a better option than you know farmed or Atlantic salmon. A lot of people, you know, when people go pescatarian or vegetarian or whatever, people are always so concerned about folks like getting enough protein, but really you don't need that much, um, that much of seafood or whatever to get enough protein. Four ounces or two three ounce servings a day is really all that most people need when it comes to protein foods. So I'm going to drizzle the salmon with olive oil. I'm just free pouring, not measuring. And then just salt and pepper to taste. Want a little bit more. I'm going to do our, my freshly ground cracked pepper and then a little bit of powdered garlic. So I'm just going to kind of massage it a bit in the oil on both sides so the seasoning gets on both sides. Actually I can move this to the side since I don't need it. Then I'm going to take our little herb, onion, ginger mixture. And spoon it on top. And it's really as simple as it is with preparation. 
So I have my oven preheating at 300 degrees and I'm going to slow roast this in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, I like to cook it on the lower side because you don't want to, the worst thing you can do with seafood is overcook it so that it's too tough. We want it to be moist and juicy and still like, you know, flake with the fork easily, but we just don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to go put this in the oven and I'll see you back in a little bit when it's all said and done. So it's been 30 minutes, 30 minutes since we put our salmon in the oven. Can you all see that? I hope you can. It's our lemon mint salmon. And if you all remember, if you watched our other, our other episodes, we have our, our fonio pilaf and collard green salad. And so now I'm just going to put it all together and let's see how it all, like all the flavors melt. I'm very excited. So I'm going to go ahead and serve up my plate. I'm going to put a little bit of the fonio pilaf. It smells so good. We've got a little bit of collard green salad with our Braeburn apples and toasted walnuts. It's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of savory. And then I'm just gonna serve up one of the pieces of salmon. Let's go with this one here. So let's taste our beautiful plate. And I'm gonna dig in. Mm. The salmon is so good. It's perfectly cooked, not overcooked. It's nice and soft and moist. Mm. And the lemon and the mint, all the flavors come together. It's, it's delicious. I'm sorry I'm talking about food in my mouth, but it's really that good if I say so myself. So I hope you are, you all are inspired to create nutritious and delicious meals. And I will see you next time in Veronica's Kitchen.